My name is Nicola Ajimum Badu Frimpong and I'm part of the Bloom Venue Contemporaries. I'm also an artist and I have five watercolour drawings for the Bloom Venue Contemporary show and the work of a sexual and violent nature. Could you tell me a little bit more about the, uh, the sexual and violent nature of the work? What, what, why do you choose to use that subject matter or uh, illustrate that subject? Um, well, for me, I think it's just like, it's a personal interest and also it's just from experiences, repressed thoughts, subconscious, unconscious stuff being kind of open. So it's like a declaration to the world, like a dialogue of this is the, you know, this is my world, this is the interpretation of Nicola's mind, what she thinks and feels, and it's just about me evoking the work. So it's like me becoming, you know, Nicola, showing you the real me, Nicola. That's how it is. You know, mostly you've come across with Nick every Sunday this year. A lot of the artists are dealing with form or colour or, um, you know, uh, kind of you know, history of performance or kind of film, uh, something like that. But this seems very different. You know, it seems like a, especially the, the, the medium that you use, the watercolours as well. Yes. So tell me, tell me a bit more about that, if you could. Oh, I use um, acrylic, gouache paint, watercolour, um, for my medium, my subject, and um, for me, it's just um, you know, it's a fantasy world I live in. You know, illustrations of a fantastical, dreamlike world. It's like the world I want to be in. So it's like I escape the reality, go into my world. That like this is the normality of Nicholas world. So it's all very ambiguous, destructive, crazy, violent, sexual, psychotic effed up and it's just like me expressing myself so it's very like it's a form of expression it's how I kind of cope with the world that I couldn't you know I can't be a serial killer so I'm just kind of like psycho killer and one's work execute these drawings and it's just how I can just yeah. deal with life I think so it's just very therapeutic if that makes any sense to do these drawings of psychotic yes kind of <laughs> yes is that how you perceive the real world then out there um i see the world is like um you know it's i'm the news presenter and i'm showing these kind of events and like as you look at the world it's just a mess with history what's happening with people everyone's depressed miser miserable we're going through problems challenging you know how, how we challenge those problems so for me it's just seeing the world but put it into a surreal context and you know all these kind of ghoulish scary figures you know surfacing and, and it's just kind of like how I see the world but in a very kind of animated sense actually. How do you think the, the Bloomberg New Contemporaries uh, has helped your professional development? Um, I feel very privileged and honest because they let me be myself and you know, for me, I, I'm very outspoken as a person and in the artwork that I do. I haven't felt repressed or being told of, oh, you can't do that, I say that. They've just let me be myself. They, you know, they praised me, said that, oh, you know, you're a very, very good artist. I feel reassured. I feel reinforced. So I kind of feel that, you know, I know what to do for the next step is just to, you know, follow from, follow from the encouragement, kind of go up the ladder and just... Uh, you know, um, take that advice and just draw and draw and just hope for, you know, more mm. future shows in the future. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.